that we turn our attention to football because we're right in the middle of our top 10 teams countdown. Yes, that is correct. Next up on the list is team number seven. They're from the Wyoming Valley Conference, and it's a team that's looking to recapture the magic from two years ago. Number seven, the Wyoming Area Warriors. The last time there was a full season of high school football in Pennsylvania, Wyoming area walked off the Hershey Park Stadium field as the Class 3A state champion. This year's senior class was a big part of that run, and those seniors are now well prepared to assume leadership roles. I think we went through a little bit of growing pains last year, but I think they certainly uh, developed and have adapted and grown, and uh, I think we're, we've got that a playable depth at this point that, that could develop into a group that uh, you know is a good football team and can go on a run. Three All-State selections return to the Warriors roster. Nick Elko on the line, Rocco Pisano on the outside, and Blaze Sokash Minnick, who will play quarterback this year. Blaze, who's committed to Penn State as a preferred walk-on at long snapper, says team athleticism is a strength of Wyoming areas. I think that we're definitely very athletic. You know, even in uh, the lineman positions, we're very athletic. Um, you know, outside with the receivers, we have a lot of speed. Uh, in the backfield, we're a powerful run game, and I think that you know we're a very versatile team that's going to go far. Up front, our O line, we're pretty athletic, so we can move around better than most other O lines. And our our corners and backs, we're all pretty. They're pretty fast, so they'll be able to move around the field when they pass. And then up front, we're pretty solid, so if the run game comes, we'll be ready. One of the key warriors to watch this season will be junior running back Drew Maroc. He got a lot of playing time in his freshman year during that state championship run, and Drew says that experience should pay dividends in 2021. We have a big O line, really good. That's probably our biggest strength. And experience, wide receivers' experience, running backs' experience. Despite losing many key players from the state title team, Wyoming area was a formidable five and three last year, and they say they're on the cusp of getting much better. Those three losses, we should have only lost to one of those teams. So I think eliminating the games that we lost that we should win will make us an even better team. If we grow, we work hard, and uh, you know, sacrifice, become that group of, of mature, experienced, talented players, they have potential to compete for a district championship and potentially make a run.